rotational traverse it is the rotation of arm about the vertical axis okay it is the rotation arm about the vertical axis it covers angular position total angular position of robot arm about vertical axis so these are the three degrees of freedom for the arm okay then next three degrees of freedom for the wrist so first is the wrist pitch wrist yaw wrist roll wrist pitch this is the wrist pitch so wrist pitch it is the upward and downward upward and downward rotation or pitching of wrist about horizontal axis this is the horizontal axis of robot okay so upward and downward pitching or upward and downward rotation of wrist this is the wrist upward and downward rotation of wrist about about the axis or about the horizontal axis then second one is the wrist yaw so this is the wrist yaw it is the rotation okay so it is the rotation about wrist or it is the rotation of wrist on the horizontal plane okay this is the horizontal plane wrist yaw is the rotation of wrist in horizontal plane about vertical axis this is the vertical axis wrist rotation about an axis or about horizontal plane about vertical axis okay means this is the next degrees of freedom wrist yaw it is the rotation of wrist on horizontal plane about vertical axis on wrist and last wrist roll okay suppose this is the end factor or so wrist roll is the rotation of rolling okay wrist roll is the rotation or rolling motion of wrist about longitudinal axis this is the longitudinal axis okay wrist roll is the rotation or rolling motion of wrist about longitudinal axis so these are the three degrees of freedom for the wrist okay wrist pitch means upward and downward motion wrist yaw means rotation on the horizontal plane about vertical axis okay and last one is the wrist roll wrist roll is the rotation or rolling motion of the wrist about longitudinal axis so these are the different degrees of freedom of the robot so every joint has one degree of freedom hence total degrees of freedom of robot equal to number of joints so all degrees of freedom means uh, definition of degrees of freedom it is the one of the variable which is required to define the motion of a body in a space so these are the six degrees of freedom used in robotics or used in industrial robot so this video shows six degrees of freedom of the robot The Universal Robot, also named 3R Robot due to its access, is the most used industrial robot because of its high flexibility. A reason for us to have a closer look at its schematic. The fellow will drive each axis with his teach panel so we get an impression of this robot. First axis drives the waist. The second axis moves the robot's shoulder. The elbow of the robot is driven by the third axis. With these three axes, you can position the TCP within the work envelope of the robot. If the robot slides along a track, he would have a further degree of freedom in form of a linear movement. The work envelope can be described as spherical. The angle of the robot hand is named as orientation. In this context, you use terms which comes from aviation. Roll rotates the tool about its center axis. Moves with tool vertically. 
Yaw turns the tool left and right, so you get a maximum of 6 degrees of freedom. You would use this robot for application like complex mounting, arc welding, and painting. Let's have a look at how this SCARA can pick these electronic vices in their boxes with high velocity. What makes this industrial robot so unique? On, on the top view, you can see how this robot gets its high speed of TCP. The angular velocities of both joints are added. The other big advantage is, this robot can hold heavy work pieces and can build high forces in the vertical direction due to its axes, which are mechanically rigid in the vertical. This robot provides a circular workspace and can reach almost 360 degrees around itself. With a small footprint, the SCARA gets a wide range. You get a SCARA normally with 4 degrees of freedom. Here's a short overview of the advantages, disadvantages, and typical applications of a SCARA as a summary. Cartesian, or linear robots, consists of a manipulator mounted onto an overhead system that allows movement across a horizontal plane. Here, you see a gantry robot handling heavy weights. Due to its axis, this robot is perfect for pick and place. This for a large work area. Gantry robots are easier to program with respect to motion because they work with an XYZ coordinate system. The workspace has the shape of a rectangle. You can find this robot not only for handling heavy weights. Here, you see an SMD assembly system with a 3L kinematic. Robots with three linear axes provide the advantage of high positioning accuracy because the position of the axis can be measured directly. More videos about robots you get in our playlist. Watch also our next videos.